Benjamin Lloyd Cloyer's name was not announced at the Georgia Tech Ph.D. graduation today, but his presence was certainly felt at the ceremony. He will never walk across the stage to receive the diploma that he worked so hard towards. He was murdered last month. Caitlin Ross reports his father still attended that graduation ceremony today. Caitlin? Steve Clower sat between proud parents and excited siblings in the crowd today. With a tissue pressed between his fingers, he nodded, reading through the program. But the words he was looking for weren't written in that leaflet. They were on the face of a woman who until today was practically a stranger. Very bittersweet. Steve Clower leaned forward in his chair as the graduates crossed the stage. That should have been him someday. Waiting for a moment that should have been so different. It should have been Ben's moment. At least a little piece of him got to do it. Dr. Carol Christine Young. Dr. Christine Young never met Ben, but she brought him with her as she crossed the stage. And they wanted to bring part of Ben here, so they brought a locket with some of his hair in it. I won't ever be able to see Ben walk across that stage, but at least I know a little part of him got to. Dr. Young knew this is what Ben wanted most in his life. Their families are friends, and when she heard he was murdered, she wanted to do something anything to help. Ben was weeks away from graduating from UGA with his master's degree in artificial intelligence. Georgia Tech was his next stop. I feel kind of cheated that this was my son's passion to be here. Ben was quietly brilliant, tutoring kids in his spare time, creating a course at Georgia Tech for high school students interested in robotics. But the way he was killed, it was loud. My son was just at home eating dinner, innocent, unarmed, and somebody walked in and murdered him. In the wrenching 911 calls from moments after the shooting, off-duty Madison County Deputy Trey Adams tells police he thought his wife was having an affair with Ben. She was not. Ben's father says she was scared of her husband and came to Ben for help. He wanted to help people. And uh, actually, when this happened to him, he was trying to help a friend. He hopes time will ease his pain, but it may never answer the question, why? He's my best friend, but he respected me as his father. This will be with me the rest of my life. It will never make sense to me. Ben's friends have created an endowment at UGA to help other students study artificial intelligence. They've already raised $20,000 in his honor. The suspect in men's, Ben's murder, Trey Adams, will be back in court on January 16th. He is charged with murder.